Hi guys, my name is Lily and today I'm here on a Mediterranean island and I want to show you what food you can find in case you're ever in a survival situation. Stay tuned. Over there I can see some black spots and these black spots are actually sea urchins and they have edible roe at the inside. So now I want to prepare for snorkeling and I want to dive out the sea urchin and see how palatable it is. I'm going to wear some gloves because the sea urchins they have very large spines which can inflict severe damage if you step on them or if you touch them so I want to protect my hands which is very important especially in a survival situation there are some poisonous kinds of sea urchins especially in tropical regions but these ones here they're not poisonous but still uh, the spines are very sharp and yeah you can injure yourself badly so Gloves are a good way to protect yourself. And I have some water shoes with me here, which are a good protection too. Okay, this is really a strange animal and you can see that the spines are pretty sharp. They will definitely hurt you if you step on it. So, And they are also moving, so that's really a strange animal. And yeah, now I want to cut open the sea urchin and I just make a circle at the bottom to be able to enter the inside of the urchin and there we will find the row the eggs which are edible this part here you can't eat it looks like some kind of animal part from a alien. <laughs> really strange. And now I have to wash out the guts. This is not the most delicious looking food, but these eggs are pure protein and they really can help you going in a real survival situation. And the best thing is that you can eat it raw. Tastes a little bit like mussels, but better. It's, it's actually pretty good. Looks like poo, but it's actually pretty delicious. Yeah, I'm really surprised how good and delicious the roe tasted. It tasted a little bit salty and 
Unfortunately, there's not a lot of row uh, inside one of these sea urchins. <laughs> That's funny, the spines are still moving. So if you want to get a full meal, you have to collect a lot of them and make sure that you're getting the big ones. And yeah, now I just throw this back into the water and I try to find another seafood. Let's see. another disgusting looking seafood and actually uh, sea cucumbers are a little bit poisonous uh, but still in a lot of countries people eat it they dry it they cut it up and dry it and they eat it dried or they just simply eat it raw okay now it's time to kill the sea cucumber and the fastest way is really to cut it open like this and yeah do it fast so that the animal doesn't suffer. That's the guts here. Okay. Now I'm going to cut off a piece for me. This is extremely tough material. It's so hard I can't even bite it. Let's try another piece. This is so hard, I don't know how I can chew this. But I tried to slice off very thin pieces. Actually, it doesn't taste too bad. It's very salty, it doesn't have a lot of flavor. But it's really hard to bite on, so uh, not the best survival food. But I guess if you cook it with some water, it will lose some of its toughness. But still, as a survival food, not too bad. <laughs> Feels like biting out a tooth. Yeah, this is definitely not the most beautiful survival food but in a real survival situation it can definitely be a lifesaver i want to thank you for watching please don't forget to follow me on facebook twitter and instagram and stay tuned till next time